guys, how you doing? It's Henry at Moors and Bowers. Good morning. Another beautiful day. So beautiful that I have to come out and work on the old golf cart, you know what I mean? Uh, anyway, so as you guys saw from the last episode, we got a key switch going on now. But I gotta figure out the wiring to the gas pedal to uh, shut off the engine kind of thing. Last episode, we changed the oil on this because as you guys told me, when that rain came and it was hydrolocked with water, Maybe there's a lot of uh, water in the carburetor as well as the crankcase. So we drained the oil yesterday and sure enough it was white, therefore it has contamination from H2O. So we drained that oil, put in some fresh synthetic oil into the engine, as well as did a quick and dirty on the carburetor when it didn't start uh, because the bowl was filled with water and a lot of uh, ethanol, um, broken down ethanol crap that was in the bowl. Now, that's a new carburetor, guys. That was less than six months ago when we cleaned it, you know what I mean? Uh, or replaced it. But uh, we're gonna try to get an on and off switch taken off the engine shroud and relocated to the dash. I removed the on and off switch off the Honda GX340 engine. It was easy to remove. Uh, you just had to pry it with a screwdriver and it went just inside a hole. Uh, this tab here touches the metal, therefore grounding it. That's how it works. So um, since I'm going to relocate this off of the engine, which is already grounded to the uh, golf cart frame, I'm going to be putting it on the dash, which is plastic, which is not grounded. Therefore, I'm going to take a tab, stick it over here, and run a wire to ground, and this one to the... Um, oil, low oil sensor switch that's attached to the wire to the magneto kill. So this will be my on and off switch. So I'll be able to turn the key to start the engine. Engine will run. How to shut it off? You just turn it off. That's how you shut it off. So to turn it on, I got a key to turn it on. I got a switch to turn it off. That's how it's going to work. Um, I'm abandoning the idea of the foot pedal, gas pedal, um, switch to turn it on and off on and off um, because it really worked better with the original setup and because we have a different engine on here the wiring is just completely different with uh, rectifier voltage regulator uh, pickup switch all that stuff was related to it and so that gas pedal seemed like it was reversed whereas you could start the engine engine was not killed when you didn't even touch the gas pedal. But once you step on the gas pedal, it kills the engine. So it was kind of reversed, you know what I mean? And I tried different ways, I still couldn't get it figured out. So instead of going through a lot of trouble to figure that out, I'm just gonna have an on and off switch on the engine that's easy access on the dashboard. So I've got a wire here. Yellow is gonna be to the uh, switch and the black will be to the little tab. I have a little tab here that'll connect onto the tab for ground. So black will be ground, yellow will be the, the kill switch. And I'm just gonna route it from the front of the dash to the engine compartment through the same routing that I did the other wires. Uh, I could have used the existing wires, but honestly I've tested all of them and it seems like it bypasses in like three or four different places. It goes out to different places. So I don't, you know, instead of ripping the whole thing out to figure out which one it is, I'm just gonna reroute my own wires, you know?
So as you saw what I was doing, drilled a hole through there. I actually broke the switch a little, but the on and off thing doesn't say that anymore. So I'll glue it back on there. Uh, got the hole uh, drilled out. Got the ground connected to it, crimped it. Got the uh, kill wire attached to the switch. And this part, because it was it it was meant to be on the cover that had these side things on there, which this doesn't have, uh, I'm gonna have to JB weld this switch on here because you're turning that switch quite often, left, right, left, right, you know? So I don't want it to move. So I'm gonna try some JB weld and we'll just cover this whole part so it won't pop out and move. And it will keep the wire from falling off. Here we go. All right, so that switch works. And we don't know if it has, it'll ignite because I didn't turn on the fuel. Should I turn on the fuel? All right, I'll turn on the fuel. Okay, I turned on the fuel. This is after the carb clean, after I added gas, after I uh, gave it an oil change. Uh, it's on choke. Let's see if this thing starts. Hmm. Doesn't start. Maybe I hooked up that kill switch wrong. I think I should try the switch to off. Okay, I just turned the switch off. <laughs> put it back on again and maybe, maybe that switch ain't working uh, or maybe it's not getting gas maybe I'll spray some fluid in there okay let's see if it starts And the switch works. Let's start it back up again. I'll put the switch back on again. We'll turn the thing.
awesome. So there we go, guys. We know the engine starts with the key and you can shut it off with the switch. And it idles pretty well. That's, that's great. I mean, that's like, we're like almost there. You know what I mean? Uh, I got to figure out whether or not this thing recharges the battery, you know? Uh, but I'll wait until that switch is dried 100% so we can kind of fiddle with it a little bit more in testing. But how about it, man? Engine runs and runs pretty well, huh? I'm stoked, man. Uh, that's a huge part of it today, man. We're getting there. Thanks a lot for joining me on today's kill switch relocation and engine test. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. guys next time on mowers and blowers hey if you guys enjoyed the video remember to give me a like also comment below subscribe remember it doesn't cost anything to subscribe it's free right also hit that little bell that way you'll get post notifications whenever there's a new video and you won't miss out on any of them remember to follow my instagram and facebook as well as if you'd like to donate a dollar or two, paypal.me slash mowers and blowers. Really appreciate all the support. Also, to keep the videos coming every day, support the channel. Bye.